As most of us have heard, Trump made a statement a couple days back about the enemy from within and how they should be very easily handled even by the military if necessary. Here's that short clip. I think the bigger problem is the enemy from within, not even the people that have come in and destroying our country, by the way, totally destroying our country. The towns, the villages, they're being inundated. But I don't think they're the problem in terms of election day. I think the bigger problem are the people from within. We have some very bad people. We have some sick people, radical left lunatics. And I think they're the, and, and it should be very easily handled by, if necessary, by National Guard, or if really necessary, by the military. Of course, Trump's remarks about the enemies from within received a lot of pushback in that he is basically suggesting that some of his fellow Americans are worse enemies than foreign adversaries. When taken with his offhand comment about terminating the Constitution, if necessary, and his remarks about being a dictator on day one, naturally this kind of comment about the enemies from within will also raise red flags. On the surface, Trump seems to be saying that anyone who opposes him is opposing America, and therefore they would be the enemy of the people. And unfortunately, that's exactly what he means. When he returns to power, whenever that is, any American that opposes Trump will be considered an enemy from within. However, I think we can take this another way as well. And it is how Christians will view other Christians who oppose Trump. On a more subtle level, his statements about enemies from within is a reference to the church. The fact is that tens of millions of professing Christians support Donald Trump, some of them extremely supportive, and they will view any other Christian who opposes Trump as being the enemy. Those of us who stand up against Trump will be considered as the enemy, as very bad people, to quote Trump, because there is coming a time when Christians will see other Christians as the enemy from within, and that they must be removed in order to purify the body of Christ. Donald Trump has already remade the GOP into his own image. His next mission is to do the same thing to the church.